Very good evening, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So before we go to the weekly analysis, I just wanted to clear a huge misunderstanding from many traders and followers here. Actually, IC Markets have sent us this email telling us that starting from 29 March 20, uh, 2021, they are going to change some of their policies uh, under ASIC ASIC and actually they are going to one of the changes is going to be uh, reducing the leverage however they this email actually was horribly wrong because they didn't clear that all these changes going to affect only the traders who are based under australia only only those who are under ic markets au are going to be affected by these changes however meanwhile us the overseas traders who are under ic markets sc we are not going to be affected by these tra uh, changes at all i have already contacted ic markets and they have confirmed to me that these changes gonna affect only the traders who are living in australia sadly they are going to become uh a pro traders or they are going to accept the new leverage but however in general uh, the majority of us i think uh, outside of australia are going to enjoy the facility oh uh, sorry the the features of ic markets ic markets is still uh, the best forex broker in the world in my opinion and no matter how you try you will never find any broker compared to ic markets uh, actually i wanted to show you this email if you can uh, remember they sent us this email back in 2019 uh, july 2019 and they have informed us that they are going to move all of our profiles from ic markets au to ic markets sc all of us actually are the traders who are the overseas traders and here they said transfer your account open positions and claim money to ic markets sc what do i need to do no further action is required from you so actually you are not going to be affected by these changes you are going to keep using ic markets using the very same leverage that we are using right now so please don't worry about that and uh, don't think about it if in case you notice that the leverage was changed it means that your profile is still under IC Markets AU. Simply contact the support and tell them to move it to IC Markets SC. As simple as that. And they will do it immediately in a few seconds. So therefore, I just wanted to clear this. So uh, as I said before, don't worry, guys. We are still using IC Markets and enjoying their features. All right. So now it's now back to the uh, weekly analysis. And as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. Now, from my point of view, the Euro UST actually was using an upper trend, as we can see right here. It was moving and respecting this support trend line. And recently, the market has made this bearish momentum and actually made the breakout from the support trend line. Now, what is going to happen next? If I'm not mistaken, um, the market actually going to fall right here to hit the support right here on actually 1.2140, uh, I would say. And then after that, it's going to make a pullback, retesting the broken support trend line to create a resistance trend line. And after that, EURUSD is going to continue the fall no less than this support level right here on 1.1590. So that being said, actually, we are go going to start shorting the EURUSD right here. Uh, we are going to short it at 1.2494. As we can see right here, we are actually aiming from this trade if we had made the target uh, add that support as I said before right here I think it's not gonna go uh, um, less than that support level I mean it's gonna eventually reach that support level just to re revisit that support right here on 1.21373 therefore uh, our take profit level is going to be 1.21373 and if I'm not mistaken uh, the safe zone should be ranging right here until the peak of that resistance right here so the safe zone should be ranging for almost 53 pips and that should be fair enough as you can see guys i'm not explaining a lot about uh, the signals this week because actually um for some reason i'm not feeling well and i cannot really breathe very well uh, i don't want to talk too much so th therefore i just want to go straight for it and here is the signal for this week so we can expect from the market to rise a little bit inside the safe zone just to hit the peak of that resistance right here on 1.22694 and after that it's gonna actually continue the fall so don't be worried your trade might go actually in 19 or 20 pips in loss before being finally in profit now for the pound usd pound usd actually is if we notice right here on the daily candle uh, the pound usd actually right now has exceed to break out from that uh, sorry has succeed 
to break out from that long term resistance right here right here yes that peak of the resistance at 1.35210 and if i'm not mistaken right now it's gonna continue the rise it's gonna continue the rise all the way until it hit that uh, previous support right here on 1.39669 so eventually we can notice right here also that we had here there is the resistance trend line and the pound usd has actually managed to make finally the breakout as well and the market seems like it was able finally to retest that broken support uh, resistance trend line and created a support trend line of course supported by the news about the the brexit deal is finally done and i think they are almost commercially has uh, left the uh, european union i believe the pound is going to continue now rising therefore what we can expect actually from the pound USD to fall for another almost 40 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy we are actually going to buy the pound USD once it's going to be actually revisiting that broken resistance right here and i believe if i'm if i'm not mistaken that's going to be the best level to start buying the pound USD so therefore uh, the pound USD should be good should be good for the buy at 1.36187 and for the safe zone it should be actually ranging right here until because actually it, the, the, if the pair actually gonna fall below our entry point it might fall a little bit more to retest that broken resistance right here at 1.35790 uh, before it's actually gonna continue the rise so therefore you can expect from the pound usd in worst cases to fall for another 60 pips and i really hope this is not gonna happen I believe uh, we are going to make some good profits from this trade now let me just draw the safe zone correctly all right now for the take profit level let's go to the daily candles and we can see right here that we can actually set uh, that support level exactly like that let me just uh, zoom in more just to be sure just to be sure yes exactly like that because on the four hour time frame we can see that we had right here a resistance i'm trying to show you right here that's going to be our target because the market actually might rise from that resistance level to go all the way to hit that previous resistance which was recently or sorry previously a strong key support level so therefore that's going to be our uh, take profit level and we are going to aim actually about 146 profit uh, pips profit from this trade really hope we hopefully we can make it so take profit is going to be 1.37708 there goes your signal for the pound usd and really hope it's going to work very well and bring us lots of profits let's now look at the aud usd now for the aud usd as we can see right here the pair has actually reversed from that strong resistance level right here as we can see we had here a strong resistance key resistance level at 0 0.77362 and it was also all of that resistance that re this uh, resistance attempts has actually become sorry maybe my voice is very loud like that better all these resistance attempts have become to be uh, have become already right here one support attempt also one attempt of a support that means most likely the AUD USD right now is gonna actually continue the fall and if I'm not mistaken AUD USD is gonna continue the fall all the way just to retest that broken resistance right here on 0 0.76385 which was previously a strong support in the end uh, previously so what i'm expecting from the AUD USD, the AUD USD is can actually rise a little bit more making a second attempt of that resistance and this is exactly where we are going to short the pair after that we are going to set a target at that uh, previous uh, support right here uh, which uh, the pair actually going to continue falling to retest that broken resistance and if i'm not mistaken the pair actually by that is going to continue or sorry the finish the pullback and right after that AUD USD is going to continue the rise i don't think AUD USD is going to be able to rise right away it has to make the pullback and after that we can start by uh, shorting uh, sorry buying it again so therefore as you can see if we go to the four hour time frame actually i don't see any price action here indicating a bearish reversal so therefore we need to start short the uh, sorry uh, yeah short the pair sorry i mean i don't see any any uh, price action indicating a continuation sorry uh, i'm just not in the mood so if we, if we go to the one hour time frame we can notice right here that we are having right here a, a, a previous support level at 0 0.76975 
Seems like the AUDUSD right now is reversing at that previous support level. So it's going to continue rising a little bit more. And after that, I believe at that resistance right here, it's going to be perfect level to start shorting the pair. And our target is going to be that previous broken resistance. Therefore, we can start short the AUDUSD right here. So sell at the level 0 0.77173. So we have to wait for the AUDUSD to rise for another 20, oh, sorry, 18 pips before it's going to be valid for the short, uh, for the short, yes. And the target is going to be actually about 78 pips of profit. That's going to be our tech profit level at 0 0.76, um, sorry, 76385. Now for the safe zone, sorry. For the safe zone, actually we have to go to the daily candles and we can just make it a little bit more above that previous resistance right here, exactly. My eyes actually focusing right here, guys. I'm focusing right here and right here. We are having right here a resistance level. So I'm just making sure that my safe zone is a little bit above that resistance right here because there is a chance that the market might go uh, to hit that previous resistance. So therefore, exactly like that. So the safe zone should be ranging for almost 50 pips only and that is fair enough and just like that this is the safe zone and here is the cell so there goes your signal for the AUDUST and i really hope it's going to work very well for us and bring us good profits let's right now look at the UST cad so as we can see the UST cad um let me just show you something if we go actually to the daily candles uh, we can notice right here that the market actually on Friday night has closed as a pin bar. So keep in mind that the market right now is reversing at this support level right here. By the way, if you remember, my friends, I told you last week that we can start uh, buying the USD CAD because, because actually we can see this right here. This candle, this is my, uh, my favorite price action, which usually indicates a continuation in the bullish reversal. As we can see, thankfully, that really happened. And for the next three days, the market kept moving in a bull uh, bull uh, bullish momentum. So anyway, what I was going to say is that the market actually has reversed right from that support level. And right here, as we can see, we had this pin bar. Therefore, on the one hour time frame, we can see that the uh, USD CAD actually is reversing at that resistance level. However, and since the market is actually right now in a bullish reversal, uh, in a bullish momentum, we can start buying the USD CAD right here once it's fall to revisit that previous support level at one uh, at 1.2724. So we can expect from the USD CAD to fall for another um, 33 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. Therefore, USD CAD is going to be good for the buy at the level 1.2724 and the take profit level in that case is going to be right here the peak of that resistance so we can expect uh, about uh, actually let me just go ah oh, sorry because we're on the uh, one hour time frame let's go to the one four hour time frame yes now it's more convenient we can uh, keep the thread running until it hit the top of that resistance level right here as we can see so therefore uh, we can expect about yeah almost 100 pips profit from this trade so that a profit level is going to be uh, 1.28273 and for the stop loss and not the stop loss i mean the edge of the safe zone we can make it a little bit just below that previous support level so we can expect from the pair to range for another 46 pips before it's going to be finally in profit i really hope this signal is going to work very well for us and bring us lots of profits let's now move to the usdjpy USDJPY actually now move, uh, moving in a bullish momentum and as we can see we're having right here on, uh, previously on the one hour time frame a strong key support level and the market has finally made uh, another look at that what I'm trying to explain right here we had here a strong key support level and recently that previous support level has become right here a, a, a resistance but however once it became a resistance the market actually didn't hold for another for another attempt i mean we we only had one attempt of the resistance and right after that the market immediately made another uh, bullish breakout uh, mo uh, movement from that previous resistance and had, it has already created a support number one so we already have attempt number one of the support indicates that this support level is very strong and seems like seems like it's actually going to continue to keep its position or actually holding the position. So therefore, USDJPY should be really good for the buy almost right away. 
But however, I'm going to actually make it uh, more accurate and therefore we can start buying the pair at the level 103.191. So we can expect from the USDGPY to fall for another six pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. Now moving to the four hour time frame, we need to ident identify our targets. So I really think uh, th selecting that resistance level is actually fair enough because the pair actually is, is gonna, uh, let me just show you this. We are having right here a resistance trend line, as you can see like that. And seems like the USDGPY right now is moving in a bullish momentum and seems like it's gonna actually continue the rise all the way until it hit that resistance trend line. So therefore, I'm gonna choose that resistance level as my take profit level. So hopefully we will make, make about 71 pips for, uh, profit from this trade. So therefore, the take profit level is going to be 103.910. Now, how about the edge of the safe zone? Let's go back to the daily candles. And the safe zone, is actually, it actually can be ranging a li little bit below that previous support level. So it's going to be ranging for almost 42 pips, which is really fair enough for this trade, since we're actually going to aim about only 71 pips only from this trade. So therefore, there goes your signal for the USDGPY and really hope also it will work very well for us and bring us lots of profits. Let's now look at the USDCHF. USDCHF, very similar to the USDGPY, is moving now in a bullish momentum, as we can see, and it has already made this strong bullish breakout candle. This is not <laughs> an arrow, <laughs> sorry. It has already made the strong bullish uh, breakout candle from that previous resistance, and right now we can expect from the USDCHF to reverse at that previous resistance right here and this one. So actually we are now depending or relying on that previous support with the key support level on 0 0.88261 where actually we are going to start buying the USDCHF. So we can expect from the USDCHF to, to fall for another 30 pips before it's going to be valid for the buy. Sorry. All right. So therefore uh, buy at 0 0.88261. And the take profit level is, of course, going to be right here. Let me just show you this. We're having right here a, resist a resistance trend line. So we can expect from the USTCHF to continue the rise all the way to hit that previous resistance trend line. So therefore, we can look for almost, um, we can actually expect more than that. Let me just be sure. Let me just be sure. Actually, this is, this is what it is. Actually, I don't think we can really change that. Uh, we can expect from the USDCHF to keep rising until it hit that previous resistance right here. So therefore, we are looking for almost 65 pips only from this trade. I think it's going to be valid, hopefully. And until Wednesday, once we release the midweek analysis video, we are going to, ha to have another trade on the USDCHF. So therefore, USDCHF is going to be good for uh, the buy and the tech profit level is going to be 0 0.88925. I'm just trying to be realistic as much as possible and I don't want to give you false um, analysis about the UCSDHF and about our targets. And therefore, there is absolutely not, not requ no requirements. I mean, it's not really important to give you always a 50 stop loss or 50 safe uh, zone uh, with 100 or 2,000 pips or 200 pips of profits. I mean, that's not really realistic and I think this is uh, better. I believe more, trader, more traders actually can uh, join these signals with these tight uh, uh, tech profits and uh, stop losses. Therefore, this go there goes your signal for the USDCHF and I really hope it will work very well and bring us lots of profits. Now let's look at the gold. The gold actually, as we can see, is moving in this. Um, right now, actually, in general, the gold is moving in a bullish momentum. However, because we are analyzing it on daily candles, we can notice right here that we had resistance trend line like that. And recently, the market has made several attempts to break out from that resistance trend line. We can notice that we had right here at attempt number one, two, and recently three. Now, on daily candles, the market has closed as a dodgy candle. And on four hour time frame, we can see this pin bar has appeared. In the case that the market most likely is actually gonna continue the fall. But however, I still believe that the gold is moving in a bullish momentum. So therefore, we are going to select that strong key support level as our target. I believe it's gonna be just a pullback before the gold is gonna continue shooting more up. So therefore, we can start shorting the gold, right? Actually, that's better. That's better, yes. 
because let me just uh, explain to you we're having right here a strong key support uh, levels as we can see and however that support level has actually um respected has been respected again as we can see right here after uh, that support level has become a previous resistance it has immediately been broken out from i mean the market didn't even make a second attempt of that resistance the market immediately after retesting that resistance level again boom immediately made the, the breakout once it made the breakout it reversed after hitting the resistance trend line and it reversed all the way to hit the same level <clears throat> the same level of that previous support level so we here we are having a support number one so after hitting that resistance trend line again we can expect from the uh, goal to fall for more um i think uh, to fall more actually and to create a support number two right after that we can start again buying the gold so therefore the gold actually should be good for the sale i would i would say right away but however just to be realistic i'm going to set a target where we can actually start shorting the pair since on the one hour time frame we can also see here a small a small pin bar has appeared indicates that maybe the gold actually gonna uh, rise a little bit more before it's gonna be valid for the sell again so therefore we can start shorting the gold sell at 1896 exactly and after that the target as i said actually i want to be realistic i mean i, I want to be realistic I mean, setting a target of 350 pips, I mean, that not really my thing. So therefore, I believe this is more convenient to make it at least to hit that previous support level. So the target is going to be 265 pips of profit. Meanwhile, the edge of the safe zone is going to be just ranging right here above that resistance, above that resistance right here. So therefore, uh, the safe zone should be ranging for almost 116 pips, 16 pips. And I really hope this is not going to happen. I believe the gold is going to continue the fall for the moment. So take profit level is going to be 1869.46. Meanwhile, let me just uh, sell, uh, show you the safe zone, which is going to be exactly right here. That's going to be our safe zone. And all in all, I believe the gold is really good for the short immediately at the opening of the market at Monday. There goes your signals for this week. And again, um, I'm sorry if I didn't sound uh, well because I'm not <laughs> well really so much. I believe I'm going to be better in the upcoming days. And until then, I believe this is going to be a very good week. And I'm very excited for the beginning of this year. I really hope it's going to be uh, full of profits and full of uh, good times for everyone. In the end, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.